Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And we are Heavy Metal, Metal Beer Club. Club. And today we're going to do a head-to-head -head with Raspberry Beer's Grudge Match in a Cage. But it's going to be the uh, Rubeus by Founders Brewery. And the Lindemann's Frambose. From uh, Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> you could so, also just call it Frambo. Or Frambo. <laughs> Or no. frambos, nobody can say it right anyways. But please stick around. They're great Valentine's Day beers. Music. And as we said, now this is, I, I like the, the, the fruit beers, especially the raspberry. And we know that there's a lot of them out there. And these just happen to be my two favorites, the uh, Rubeus out of uh, Founders, which uh, Founders uh, Brewing Company or Brewery, got to look at it and make sure to see because we always, we always mess Barry. that up. <laughs> but they've been around since 1997. And then you have uh, Lindemans, which has been passed down from generations, that brewery out of Belgium, and that has been around since 1822. That is a Lambeck and uh, this is an ale. And so um, I say we give it a try. Shall Let's we go with it. the uh, Lambex first and we'll yeah. do a comparison. Now for Valentine's Day, we thought these would be the perfect beers because um, it's uh, actually beer, non-beer lovers. In fact, I would, I'd probably say the beer lovers probably would not like these in some cases because they're uh, both sweet. somewhat sweet. They're a little sweeter to me and I don't, I like to eat my sweets, not drink them mostly, but he likes the sweets. And I don't sweet like to drinks. eat sweets. I like to drink my sweets. Yes. Yeah. So he's, we'll. He's the sweet, fruity one. <laughs> and <laughs> That's uh, kind of nice also, the uh, Framboise by Lindemans has uh, a cork in it as well. So I made it's sure like a wine I was bottle. prepared. Yeah, which would be nice for Valentine's Day. And we're having them in our champagne flutes because it's kind of, you know, festive for the uh, Valentine's Day when you give your girl some flowers like these. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the uh, Lindemans, I will have oh, to God. say, the Lindemans is uh, <laughs> quite a bit more expensive than the, uh, the uh, Rubeus. And we will try that in these glasses. Ooh, that is a nice color. It's a rich berry. And it'd be kind of nice to uh, use a flute like this, as if you're drinking some uh, champagne. And uh, that was a very nice color there. Deep red. You could wear your that has, uh, berry beret while you drink it. Uh, you want to just, shall we pour the two and then taste, or taste and then. Let's uh, taste this one and then bit. we'll do the other Let's one. Let's give that a little. Sniff. Oh, that is full on raspberries. Mm -hmm. That is really nice. Whoa. That's mm. tart. Man. Mmm, that is tart. I like it though. What about you? It's too tart for me. But it tastes really good. Yeah. I see? mean, it's really rich with raspberry taste. It tastes I, super, but it's tart. Now I like, yeah, I like, I like the tart. It is sweet but tart, raspberry. It has a real, uh, I'd say about a medium mouthfeel. Yeah, it's it's a, a nice rich color. I mean, it's if you love raspberries, you'd love this because it is full on raspberries. Really raspberry. Doesn't and taste really, like beer whatsoever. Yeah, no, and I really wouldn't say any other flavors that. I really stand out. It's uh, it's most definitely a raspberry. Wow. Yeah, and it's yeah, uh, it's, full on raspberry. it's pretty carbonated, pretty fizzy. Yeah, but not too fizzy. Not as fizzy and not as carbonated as a champagne. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that is really nice. Now, really. Good. Also, besides the price and on the downside, I'm getting used to it now. Is <laughs> it was between two percent and I saw it as high as four percent alcohol. So there again, it's uh, you know just an, a nice meal for Valentine's Day uh, drink, and uh, also a great, I think it'd be a great dessert drink. 
yeah. something that would go along with really good with, oh, that would be great with dessert. Yeah, chocolates with chocolate. Chocolates and dessert. And let's dig into the Founders Rubeus. Now the Founders Rubeus, first time that uh, I had that, I had it on tap and it was the uh, nitro version of the Rubeus and that was extremely tasty, really good. It made it uh, more creamy. Yeah. I'll pour yours first. Right. Oh yeah, right off the oh, yeah, bat, totally that is different. not as dark. No, not as red. Red. Yeah, I started getting more used to this one when I took a few yeah. more. The first initial sip, I didn't remember because I've had this a long time ago. I didn't remember it being so sour but and tart, but now I'm getting more used to it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I like it. But then, uh, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm a fan of those beers anyway. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty fizzy. Not as dark, but it does have, uh, uh, it almost looks like the, the color of like watermelon juice like an agua fresca, sandia, that's watermelon. Cheers. Cheers. Give it a little taster. No, I'm gonna give it a smell first. It smells more like a little bit of a beer. Taste. Yeah, yeah, and it's the, you get the raspberry scent, but not as strong, and I think it's because of, after smelling the, the Lindemans first. It smells more yeast like a beer, like a, the yeast of a beer. The mouth feel is is mm -hmm. more of a, a beer also yeah this is really good yeah this one is is more of a beer uh, again raspberry yeah more not so not a sweet not tart at all yeah malty and not too sweet either so it's it's got a really nice balance it's very very good it's not too sweet at all this has a 5.7 abv so on a on the tasty meter of one to five I would give this, it's kind of hard because for someone that wants it something like this, I'd give it a five. Yeah. It's full flavor, but for my own personal taste, I, I wouldn't give it such a high rating because it's just not, wouldn't be something I could drink a whole lot of, but I'd give it a five. I, I think it's really, really, it's really uh, rich and tasty. And so I would go with the five. Like yeah. you, as far as flavor, I mean, it's that it good. is strong. It is very full of flavor. Yeah, you wouldn't drink a lot of it, but to have a, a glass of it is really nice. Yeah. And uh, with the Rubeus? Rubeus? I'd give it a 4.5, probably. I, I know I do kind of the between a four and a five, but 4.5. See, it, it's hard for me because this isn't really my style of beer, but. For someone that likes raspberry beer, I'd give this a high rating. So I'd give it a 4.7, I'd say, because it tastes raspberry, but it's beer. Yeah, now when I when I drink it regularly and I'm not having it with the framboise, I would probably give this a five, but mm -hmm. tasting them like this, doing a head-to-head -head comparison, I'd have to go with uh, probably a, a 4.2 on it. Yeah. Even though I really like it a lot. I would be more likely to drink this one than the other one, but the other one tastes really good for a special occasion. I would yeah. enjoy it. But you'd have to admit also that uh, Framboise would be really good for uh, somebody who is not a beer drinker. And so oh, if definitely. You wanted, if you wanted to have that as sort of something special. Yeah, because then treat. it's almost like a sparkling punch kind of drink. Yeah. Actually, like a, a really good raspberry punch or raspberry fruit juice with sparkling water in it. That's kind of what it's like. So like I said, if you uh, Concentrated. want to break out with that for Valentine's Day dinner, it'd go really good with Italian food. And hey, if you want to make dinner and uh, you want some place to learn, check out Heavy Metal Chef. Chef Reaper has great recipes. He makes all kinds of different types of dishes. An Italian dish for Valentine's Day would be perfect. And uh, also he has a lot of desserts. Both of these would pair with any of those particular dishes. We'll, we'll leave a link in the <laughs> description below. <laughs> so check him out. Yeah, Heavy Metal Chef rocks the Reaper. And also another fun thing that you can do with the raspberry beers is a little bit of a mix here. You could mix it with a chocolate stout and get some uh, real fun flavors. Or you can mix it with 
a peanut butter milk stout. And uh, we recommend the Belching Beaver. Peanut butter stout, Belching Beaver. Peanut butter stout. It's so good. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. That poor little Belching Beaver. And uh, <laughs> when you do a, a mix with this, you're kind of getting, if you think about it, you're getting kind of a peanut butter and jelly sort yeah. of thing going peanut on. Peanut butter and jelly. So, oh my gosh, just opening that thing <laughs> up. Just opening it, I was getting a, <laughs> I, I, I was getting that uh, peanut butter. It's smelling it made me think of a PBJ. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh boy, now we get to drink all these. Wow. <laughs> oh. What do you think? That which one? Good. Which one should we mix it with? I would say probably the framboise, right? Yeah. It's a little bit stronger. Do one on yours, and I'll try yours. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you, I'll keep mine. You just want to go with that? Go with that yeah, flavor. I want to taste yours. So, let's so see he that. mixed that up with the Lindemann's Rambose from Belgium. Let's see what? Oh what wow! So we got the Belgian sort beaver. of like a, like a black and tan. How you can just sort of mix the two together. Mm -hmm. Hey, I didn't even taste mine. Mm -hmm. I didn't even taste it yet. That's good. <laughs> yeah, mm. tart tartens it up a little bit. It gives it a little a little bit of that is back. really nice gives it zazz. Mm. Yeah, it's uh That's good. That does. That's that's like a, a PBJ. Yeah. So there you go. Another idea and a good uh, another Valentine specialty would be the Belching Beaver and the Lindemann's Rambose mixed. If you like this sort of content, please yeah. hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah, if you and like this sort of content, like zany, kind of fun, quirky beer drinking and whatnot, then hit the like button and set your bell. I always say no. The set bell your bell. Just let them set the bell. So happy Valentine's Day from the Heavy Metal Beer Club. And thank you so much for joining us here. Please stay safe, drink responsibly, and don't forget, forget to, to stay metal. metal. Let me drink the rest of this room base. Now I will drink the rest of the beer while Arthur went downstairs. Oh, my frambose.